Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins. And in this tutorial video, I'm going to demonstrate how to duplicate your online course elements with WP Courseware. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so in WP Courseware 4.8, we added functionality to duplicate various course elements. So for example, if we navigate over to courses and we hover over this course that I have, course A, you're gonna notice there's an option here to duplicate. Now, in previous versions of WP Courseware, this was sort of possible. It was more of a manual process. You had to actually export your course and then re-import your course in order to duplicate it. Uh, but in this uh, function, all you have to do is click duplicate, and now you've got a exact copy of your course. Now, this includes every element within the course. So you think about what you have in a course, a module, a unit, a quiz, and so all of those elements get duplicated uh, into this particular course. Um, but we took it a step further. So if we go navigate over to modules, you'll notice we now have the two modules. Uh, this one is the course A copy because we just copied it at, at the beginning of the video. All I had was course A. Um, but let's just say we want to duplicate uh, module one. So let's go ahead and click duplicate. And you'll notice now I've got two course A's. And you'll notice you can see here ID number two was the original module one. And then this was the copy that I did with when I duplicated the course. And this was the uh, copy that duplicated just now when I clicked the button. Um, so here's a stipulation. Here's something you need to need to know. When you do that copy, it automatically signs it to the course that you copied it from. However, you can go in, you can edit, and you can select a different course. So let's just say we wanted to drop it over to course A copy, and we can do so. So that's all there is to duplicating a module. Now, if we navigate over to our units, again, this is possible to duplicate a unit. Uh, this will just duplicate a single unit. So now we have three unit ones, and this is all because of the duplication I've been doing with courses and modules. Uh, but if you click duplicate unit, You'll notice now I've got unit one copy and it actually duplicates the unit and all the content within it, uh, but it does not assign it to a course or a module. Okay, so it kind of leaves it in limbo, if you will, uh, but it, all that means is it's available to add to a course. Okay, now if we go down to quizzes, we don't have a quiz, so let's go ahead and add a quiz. Okay, so now we've added a quiz and let's go ahead and let's just add a question. And we're gonna go ahead and save the question. Okay, so now let's go back to our quizzes index page here, which lists out all of the quizzes we have available. And you'll notice we have a duplicate option here for our quizzes. So if we click duplicate, you notice we get a copy of test quiz one. Now, if I click into test quiz one and we go over to the questions, you'll notice that we have this particular question, the sky is orange, which I created in the other quiz. Um, but the reason I wanted to show you this is that we're not actually duplicating questions because if you remember, questions have a relationship to quizzes uh, as a one to many. So in other words, you can have one single question assigned to many quizzes. So now if we go down to questions over here on the left hand side, you'll notice we only have one, the sky is orange question, uh, true or false question that is. Um, but anyhow, uh, that's, that's how you uh, duplicate quizzes, units, modules, and courses. And those are the only elements within uh, WP Courseware 4.8 that we have uh, chosen to give the option to duplicate. So enjoy duplicating your courses. Hope this makes you more efficient uh, when creating additional courses that may look uh, a lot like, you know, the courses that you already have. And that way you're not having to manually copy and paste or perhaps having to do it the old method of exporting and importing an entire course. So hope this demonstration video has been helpful. Again, this is how to duplicate all of your online course elements with WP Courseware 4.8. Thanks for watching.